What are you wearing? Well, you said we were gonna make s'mores, so I thought I'd get cozy. No, I said Keto Chow has a new flavor, and it's s'mores. Well, what am I gonna do with all that firewood? Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, you're definitely not going to need the firewood. I mean, we don't even use it when we go camping half the time. Well, I will take the firewood out later and I will take off the gloves, but I'm committed to the hat head now, so it's happening. <laughs> so what's up family? We have a new flavor of Keto Chow. S'mores, highly I'm anticipated. I mean, well, I think it's funny that we're always in the Keto Chow live stream and people are always getting like guessing like, what's the new flavor gonna be? And people kept guessing s'mores and we knew it was gonna be s'mores. I am so glad that when they are having a live stream, there's no camera on me because I don't have poker face. You know I don't have I poker know. face. So we got a new flavor. Um, we actually have had this for a few days and uh, yeah. I'm excited about this one. We've made it with ice cream. Yes. And uh, we've made it with heavy cream. And today we're gonna try which the way I think that all the keto chow tastes best, and that is with butter, because the butter brings out the flavor. Butter is better. So this is a new flavor. Now this is a limited edition flavor. Now if you don't know what keto chow is, it is a meal replacement drink. And what's cool about it is, is you get to determine the amount of calories. What? Limited edition always makes me sad a little bit. And, well, it is a limited edition. There are 30,000 of them. I just oh. asked Chris a little while ago. There okay. are 30,000 and you can only get them this way in the individual bags, like no big bags. Okay. Can I get back to Keto Chow now? Yes. Okay, so if you don't know what Keto Chow is, it's a meal replacement uh, drink. And what we like about it is you get to determine the amount of calories because you're gonna determine the fat. And some people don't understand what makes that so good. A lot of the times when you buy these powder drinks, they have the fat added into them, but they're usually like bound to something like maltodextrin or something like that. And you also can't determine the calories. So if it comes and you're supposed to add water or almond milk, it is what it is. Whereas this one, you could make this 300 calories, you could make it 800 calories. Well, and it's great for a couple because your packet of s'mores could have a different calorie count in it than mine. Right. The other thing that makes Keto Chow really cool is the fact that each one of these, each serving, no matter what flavor you get, is one third of all of the nutrition that you need for the day. All of your vitamins, your electrolytes, your minerals. So you can actually drink three of these at the caloric intake that you're looking for. So for example, if you want 1500 calories, you could drink three of these using four tablespoons of butter in each one, you're gonna get about 1500 calories and that's gonna be all of the nutrients that you need, all of your vitamins and everything. Whereas a lot of nutritional shakes are super lopsided, like they're you know gonna get you protein, but that's it. But not all your like vitamins and nutrients and everything else. Exactly. So we love Keto Chow, we've got a whole Keto Chow playlist, I'll leave a link down there for you. Let's try the new flavor, because you've only tried it one way. You tried it as an ice cream. I've never tried it as a shake, and definitely not with butter, because you made the ice cream using cream. So this is with four tablespoons of butter. This doesn't make me sad. And I made it about two hours ago. Okay, because actually it tastes better if you leave it a day. Yes. Or more even. Yeah. Mm. That is very tasty. Okay. That tastes like the marshmallow, though. It, it's got the marshmallow with a hint of, like of a graham cracker gram chocolate in the, in the back. back. Yeah. I don't taste chocolate. I I don't taste chocolate. It tastes marshmallow. Definitely tastes marshmallow. I taste marshmallow and I taste graham cracker. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. We got to try this when they were first developing the flavor. And we made it as an ice cream. And I was like, wow, the flavor's kind of muted. Not with the butter. But not this way. <laughs> no, it's funny, butter. Oh, like now as it settles, you really get that graham cracker taste. The butter I like really this. like 
does the best thing for keto chow. Yeah. So I think. we had one serving of it. And we made it into ice cream and I was like, it's good, but it wasn't like punch you in the face flavor. This is punching the face flavor. I like this flavor. This tastes like really good marshmallow. The marshmallow is punching you in the fla face. The graham cracker is in the back. and I, But honestly, I don't taste the chocolate. You don't taste the chocolate? I don't taste the chocolate. Okay. I, I taste mostly marshmallow and graham cracker. So. Yeah. Okay, you wanna do five things? Five well, things. Quick five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? I'm, I don't know why we're doing a five things on keto chow. I mean, they're all pretty much the same other than flavors. Maybe somebody's never heard of keto chow though. I am not gonna go through all of the ingredients because there's a whole list of ingredients that are just your vitamins, your minerals, things like that. But I'll go through the main ingredients. Yeah, because there's things that you will need like manganese. You won't hear a straightforward yeah. like nutrient like but that. But honestly, I can't pronounce them, so I'm not gonna read them. Go onto the keto chow website and you can see all the vitamins and the electrolytes that you're gonna get. We're gonna talk about the main ingredients are milk protein isolate, acacia gum, potassium citrate, sea salt, xanthan gum, choline, albiterate, magnesium malate, uh, potassium chloride, natural and artificial flavors, and vitamin blend, sucralose, sunflower oil, and sunflower lecithin. Yeah. So that is the main ingredients that are in here. Uh, and like I said, then there's all kinds of vitamins and things like that. If you're curious about the sucralose and things like that, Chris has a whole blog post. I'll actually link it down below why they use sucralose instead yeah. of some of the other things. Bottom line is it tastes better and there's not a whole lot in there. Well, and I love that you can actually get a detailed nutrition info list totally right. on ketochow.xyz backslash nutrition. Yep. So overall, the ingredients are really good. If you don't like sucralose, I mean, then maybe you don't think so. I personally don't mind sucralose at all. So... Other than that, everything else is really good with it. And the amount of sucralose is like how it's many like angels a pencil can tip. dance on the top of a pin. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Well, hopefully it's the same as it's always been. One pouch is one serving, yes. Mm -hmm. So the dry scoop mix is 125 calories. That's what everybody gets, no matter if you're Joe, you're me, you're right. anybody. So the total fat, 0.5 grams of fat, because remember you're adding your fat, 26.2 mm -hmm. grams of protein, 7.73 total carbs, which is amazing in a shake, and then 1.5 dietary fiber. So then they do give some nutritional information if you use it with a half a stick of salted butter, if you use it with a half a cup of heavy cream, and that's gonna raise it up to 500 calories. So instead right. of 125 calories, you know, again, depending on how much you add, that's how you change the calories and the fat content. Right, so for example, this is made with four tablespoons of butter, which is a half a stick, so that makes this a 530 calorie shake. Rachel usually uses three tablespoons, I usually use four to five, and we don't usually drink three for the day, we usually do one as a meal. But on and good then days. eat a couple of other good meals throughout the day. But on good days, we can have three keto chow ice creams. That's the best Yes, thing. yeah. In the bathtub. Okay. It tastes better there. Number three, how does it taste? It is delicious. It has not beaten my all-time favorite, which is chocolate toffee, though. Okay. Where do you rank this on your list? Hmm. I'm going to say chocolate toffee mm -hmm. right now because, you know, every week it's different. Okay. Chocolate toffee, pistachio. Then, I don't know. Lately, you know, the uh, raspberry cheesecake okay. has been up there for me. Chocolate peanut butter. But this is in there. It's probably in number three right now. It'll be in the rotation. Except, especially for the fall and winter months. Right. Well, again, it's a limited edition flavor. So, I'm going to put it towards the middle to the top for me. Potassio for me is number one. Unfortunately, that's a limited edition flavor. So, that's going away. Uh, then I've got raspberry cheesecake and chocolate peanut butter. And this one is probably right up there. Right around root beer like three or four yeah. number four how much do they cost so like i said you can only get these in the individual serving bags and by the way if you are curious with the other flavors the when it says like one scoop one scoop is one of these bags yeah so you can this get it giant. in the bag or you can get a big bag not in this flavor but in other flavors and that's 21 of these little ones this, and it's a significant savings this isn't an ultima scoop no it's not a scoop this big so each one of these individual bags are $4.75. Uh, now we do have a link. We don't have a coupon code, but we have a link. If you use the link that is down below, 
that will get you 10% off your entire purchase. So you can buy five of these or 10 of these and then buy something else and you're gonna get 10% off of your entire purchase if you use that link. There's You can't use a coupon code or anything like that. You actually have to click on that link. So that'll get you some money and it also helps out the channel a little bit. So you save some money and it helps us out a little bit. Thank you. Okay, number five. Would we recommend it? I definitely would recommend it. I mean, I'm always gonna recommend Keto Chow because it's made with such integrity. It's really good. We've proven that it does what it's supposed to do right. for our personal lives. So I love Keto Chow. As far as it being s'mores, like I said, I taste the marshmallow and I taste the graham cracker, but I think if you're wanting this to have like an overwhelming milk chocolate taste, I think that you'll be disappointed. Yeah, see, I, I actually really like this flavor because I don't think of s'mores as an over chocolatey thing. I you think, think it is mostly- Over marshmallow -y thing? It's, usually for me, it's a very marshmallow thing and I think it's that, in that aspect, it's dead on. It They nailed the marshmallow flavor. With the graham cracker. And I would love to taste this in our pudding. I think this would make a really good pudding. Okay. Well, let us know down in the comment section if this is a flavor you'd be interested in. Also, I'm curious, what other flavors do you guys think Keto Chow should come out with? Because I've got a list in my head of what I want to see them come Me out too. with. Of course, every time I mention them, like Miriam's like, no. Like, I'd like to see a peanut butter and jelly flavor Keto Chow. That could go really sideways, yo. Or it could go really well. But it could go really bad. I told you I thought pistachio would be really good, and you're like, yeah, I don't know about that. And they now it's one that. of your favorite flavors. They absolutely so. nailed it. Let us know down in the comment section what flavor do you think they should come out with next? What would dethrone chocolate to toffee? <laughs> pistachio. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist of Keto Chub videos, which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video and I, I have a fire in, in our living room, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.